Hi, I'm Taya Williams. Thank you for joining me here on Taya's Sweet Aroma. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the recipe for my cilantro lime rice. This is one of my favorite rice recipes to make. I think it goes well alongside so many different dishes. The mistake a lot of people make um, about this rice is thinking that it only goes good served alongside Mexican food. Um, probably because it has the cilantro as well as the lime in it. And those are two of the main flavors that you find in Latin cuisine. But I like to serve this rice alongside um, some of my Cajun dishes or just make a bed underneath some of those dishes. And it really adds a nice little fresh sort of element to those more heavier recipes like Cajun food where it's just packed with so many different flavors. Um, the rice of choice for me with this recipe is hands down basmati rice. I love using the basmati rice because it's um, very aromatic. And um, if you can't find the, the basmati rice in the store, you can go ahead and substitute it for jasmine rice. That um, will work well for this recipe. Um, the other ingredient I wanted to talk about is my homemade chicken stock. I'm gonna be using it for this recipe. You'll notice here in a bit that it has some of the fat pockets hanging out on the top. And that's because when I make my stock, I don't like to skim that off. I like to leave them in there. It will just, it's just gonna add to the flavor of this dish. Now, if you decide to make this stock, you can go ahead and skim it off if you don't want it on there or just use some store-bought stock, however you choose to do it. So as soon as I get through getting all these ingredients prepped, I'm gonna bring you in closer so we can go over them. The ingredients you're gonna need for this recipe is some vegetable oil, some cilantro, some chicken stock, garlic, onion, lime zest, lime juice. For the seasonings, you're gonna need some salt, some ground cumin, some freshly ground black pepper, granulated garlic, and some basmati rice. To my skillet that has been preheating over a medium high heat, I'm just getting the vegetable oil added in along with the rice. I'm gonna give it a stir, making sure that I get all of those grains of rice coated and I'm gonna allow it to continue cooking until my rice gets nice and toasted. You wanna make sure that you keep stirring your rice around as it's toasting to keep it from burning. And this looks really good right there. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the onion, get those stirred in. Now I'm gonna add in the garlic, get those stirred in. After about 15 seconds with the garlic, you wanna start adding in your chicken stock along with the seasonings and about half of the lime zest. I'm gonna give everything a stir. My rice has now come to a boil, so I'm gonna go ahead and get it covered with the lid, turn my heat down to a medium low, allow it to continue simmering, and after about 15 minutes, um, I'll show you what it looks like. So after 15 minutes, I went ahead and allowed, I took my rice off the burner, I went ahead and allowed it to sit with the lid on for five more minutes. Now at this stage, you can go ahead and add in your lime juice, the rest of your lime zest, and the cilantro. Then using a fork, just gently mix everything together, fluffing the rice as you go. At this stage, this rice just smells amazing. Um, you can really smell all that lime flavor from the lime juice and the lime zest. You have the bits of the cilantro running throughout the rice, making it look really pretty. The rice is just light and fluffy. And as I'm tossing everything together, I can see that it's absorbed all that extra lime juice that I added in at the end. Mm, smells delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. Mm. Mmm, the rice is just perfectly tender. The lime and the cilantro is the star, by far the star in this rice. I mean, you can't taste this rice and not know what kind of rice it is. It's so good. The rice is nice and perfectly tender. Um, one thing you wanna keep in mind though is that basmati rice does tend to cook up a lot faster than like a long grain rice, so. You don't wanna overcook it. Keep an eye on your rice as you're cooking it. Um, that way it doesn't turn out really mushy. All the grains should be nice and single, not sticking together. This is 
for sure a recipe that if you're a, a citrus lover like our family is, you should give this recipe a try. I think it's one you're gonna love. Very easy to put together. Um, I'll be sure to include a link down below in the description box where you can find this written recipe as well as the recipe for my um, chicken stock um, in case you decide to give it a try. I think you should, it really helps enhance the rice even more. And as always, I thank you for spending time with me here today. Don't forget to like and subscribe below, and I hope to see you again next time. Bye.